They came from the four corners of the earth. The mightiest gladiators from Great Britain, Finland, America, and Russia. Together for the first time in history, united to accept the challenge of the international champion contenders in a battle that would decide who is the best in the world. football star John Fashionu. I'm Mike Gadamly. Glad you could join us for a very special occasion. So let's meet tonight's finalists, who are... For the women from the United Kingdom, Great Britain, the current champion. She won it just weeks ago. Her name, Eunice Huthart. And for the USA, Kim Tyra. You have been in this spot many, many times before, and I know underneath that smile and that grin, there are a bundle of nerves boiling. Yeah, that's right, Mike, but what you got to do is just learn the control, learn how to focus, and you get through the competition with some kind of enjoyment out of it as well. Tonight's slate of events, are they going to favor you, do you think? Um, I, I don't think about that. I just take, take every event as it comes. I don't think what it did in it last time. As my trainer, Alfie Lewis, always says, you're only as good as your last competition. This is going to be my last competition, so I've got to prove how good I am. Eunice Hart, best of luck. Go get him. Kim, I know myself what it's like, obviously, being a sportsman. I know the, the tension and the pressure. You can either freeze or you can go right the way through. How do you feel yourself? Well, actually, John, I work pretty well under pressure. Um, I've been competing since, man, junior high, and um, I use my headsets backstage to loosen me up, and I just try and stay focused and just keep my mind on what I'm doing, and that seems to work for me. Great stuff. Off you go, Kim. Get yourself ready. Kim Tyler from the USA. All right, let's meet tonight's men's finalist, the current British Gladiator champion, London police officer Paul Field. And from the USA, Two Scoops Wesley Berry. <laughs> Paul, welcome once again to a spot that you have stood in many times before. You know, a lot of people who watch Gladiators will look at this as a competition, a direct confrontation between you and Wesley, but it's really not that way for a contender, is it? That's right, you've got to actually compete against the Gladiators. You only have a head-to-head -head on the Eliminator. But the whole way through, you've got different gladiators, different events. You've got to really be skilled at all of them. What about tonight's slate of events? Do they favor the kind of skills that you possess? Um, most of them are power, strong power events. And I think that's the sort of person I am, strong, powerful, and fast. Paul, well, best of luck this evening in the grand final. Paul Field from Great Britain. Two scoops, you're nearly there. Two tickets around the world. If you win, who are you going to go with? What I'm going to do is cash in one of them. The other one, I'm going to hold a little raffle in my neighborhood and hope that I can send some kid around the world to experience what I have experienced here in Birmingham. Good. Now, since you've been on the International Gladiators, you've always had a rap for us. Have you got one for us, the final? Something special? <laughs> 
I always keep a little something special. But to all the kids out there, to all the kids, you must stay in school if you want to be cool because if you drop out of school, you will be a fool. So just keep your mind straight, educate your mind, and then education, you will be found. Stay in school. Where's the two scripts today from the USA? Well, Wesley's done rapping. Now you can start clapping. Event number one in our international grand finals set to come. It is Skytrack. In the yellow uniform in the outside lane from America, Kim Tyler. On the inside from Great Britain, pride and joy of Liverpool, Eunice Hutthart. For the Gladiators, the team of Lightning and Jazz. Over to our international referee, Larry Thompson. America and Great Britain, are you ready? Gladiators, are you ready? Again, Skytrack is straight race over this figure Three, eight course. Two, one. Our grand championship underway, Eunice Hutthart. Quick out of the blocks, explosive. Into the first corner accelerating away from the competition. Both our contenders are. Who will reach the finish line first? This could be close. Right now, it appears to be Eunice. Eunice wins it. Kim gets five for finishing second. Look at Adrian Sullivan there to support Kim Tyler. She lost last week to Eunice Hutthart. Watch how close Lightning comes to detonating Kim. Eunice makes her mark by winning the first event. After one event in the women's competition, Kim Tyler of the USA 5, Eunice Hutthart of Great Britain 10. The men are ready to put the pedal to the metal in Skytrack in the outside lane in the blue uniform from America, Wesley, two scoops, Barry. And on the inside lane in the red from Great Britain, Paul Field. For the Gladiators, the team of Wolf and Sabre. International referee Larry Thompson. Well, normally America. Wolf rides with Nitro. And this Great makes a change Britain, to go with Sabre. One thing for sure, John, that our, all of our gladiators are bound and determined to make Gladiator. our two contenders earn are every single ready? point. The grand championship. Paul Field, the Watford policeman, I bet he wishes he had a blue light two, on his car. One. And they're off. Paul on the inside lane making good progress. And leaving those gladiators trailing. It is clear that Wesley and Paul have turned it up an extra notch for this grand championship. This one is going to go down to the wire. Paul Field, the Watford policeman in hot pursuit of Wesley. And it's close. It's going to be a photo finish. Wesley Berry in the blue uniform wins it by the narrowest of margins. Yes, two scoops takes the first event in the grand championship. After one event in the men's final, Paul Field from Great Britain, five. Wesley Berry from the USA, ten. Next event, Gauntlet. And first into the Gauntlet, full-time mother and kickbox champion from Liverpool, Eunice Hutthart, five foot seven and ten stone. And to get into the internationals, Mike, she beat Karen Sampy in the domestic final in the most exciting eliminator, which either of them could have won. It was tense. Boy, it looked electric, John. I'm sorry I missed it. To get to tonight's grand championship, Eunice beat Russia's Olga Dudnik and then America's Adrian Sullivan and even took the measure of Jet in her specialty event, Hang Tom. And first up is Eunice Hutter from Great Britain. And she'll be facing Ice Lightning Flesh. Over to John Anderson. John, I've seen a lot of female contenders before, but I'm not sure I've ever seen 
one that likes to scrap and fight and claw as much as Eunice Hutt. Hutt. Look at her, she is going wild. And she goes at the ice with her pick and takes her on straight onto Lightning. I thought Ice was going to take Eunice's head off with that ramrod, trying to get by Flash here, Flash pinning her down. She is a whirling dervish in there, is Eunice Hutt. Hutt. She loves a fight and takes it to Jazz and Nightshade and through. In 21.1 seconds, she'll get five points. And what is she doing now? Hey, she is going back after Ice before John Anderson is able to restrain her. But what was that all about? A calm down. John. John Anderson reading the riot act to her, Mike. What was that all about then? Here's what it's all about. Eunice took exception to Ice going high and then slapped Ice in the face. No call for that, though. You said it. She's a scrapper. Just over 21 seconds. You got yourself your five points. Tell me, we're in the final. You've done this before. How much harder is it? Yeah, well, it, it is harder. You're against top class athletes out there. I just thought there was a bit of something untoward out there, so I lost my cool a little. I shouldn't have. I apologize. At the start, looked like she was trying to out -psych you. No, no, just a bit of banter, and that's all. I apologize. Good sportsmanship. Let's hear it for Eunice Hutter. Five points. Eunice needs to harness that emotion and channel it into positive energy if she's to have any chance against Kim Tyler, the 1993 American champion, John. Here's how she shapes up. Five foot six, ten stone five. Let's look at some of the events that brought her here to the final. Even in Powerball, she drags them along with her. Whether on the floor or in the air, she is tremendous. Kim beat Lena Gerasimova in the prelims from Russia and then Pirjo Laitila from Finland in the semi-finals. Even in pursuit, being chased by Jet, she manages a flick flack as she takes the winning tape. Kim Tyler has the capacity to make things look easy. In college at Ohio State University, Kim a great track and field athlete, especially the long jump. She would like to hurdle a few of these gladiators here inside the garden. Straight past ice and into lightning. This is fast. Lightning giving her a go on the flash here. Straight through and meets Jazz. Could be a fast time, Mike. Well, Jazz slowing her up, slowing her down almost completely. Now Nightshade. Kim gets through her time, 23.2 seconds. She gets five points. Does it get any easier? No, not at all, but um, it gets a lot more fun, I guess. I kind of like the physical contact, so I'm enjoying myself, believe it or not. Well done. 23 seconds. You got yourself five points. After two events in the women's competition, Kim Tyler of the USA, 10. Eunice Huthart of Great Britain, 15. Next into the gauntlet, Paul Field, our 1994 champion, police officer and Winter Olympic athlete. Six foot and 14 stone, his lower body strength from pushing the bobsleigh has proved to be a winning factor in bringing him to the finals. And to get here tonight, he beat Phil Campbell in the domestic final and then bumped off Russia's Stas Shostak and America's Kyler Storm in international competition. Even terminated the Terminator in his favorite event, Hang Tough. And few people will forget his performance in the Eliminator when he beat Kyler, coming from behind in dramatic fashion, snatching victory from the jaws of defeat. It was something special. And from Great Britain, it's Paul Fields! And he's going to be facing a Sabre! <laughs> Trojan! The Terminator! And let's see if all those hours of pushing that bobsleigh will get him by this quintet of angry gladiators. Perhaps he should have brought his bobsleigh with him, Mike. Three, two, one. The Magnificent Five, the attack Sabre. Takes him straight on as well. And Trojan doing a great job with the gloves. Terminator, easy to get past. And Hawk has got his prey covered. Now only Saracen with that ramrod. Paul has done it in under 20 seconds.
Fight, he's got 10. Congratulations. Paul, tell me, at the start, John Anderson blows his whistle. What goes through your mind? Fear. There's five big men out there. I was, all I think about is getting through them, you know, trying to go around and keep low. Everything goes out the plan. As soon as you hit the first one, everything goes. Well, you did very well. 19 seconds, 10 points! <laughs> for sure he's focused, and for sure he has to be against Wesley Two Scoops Berry, six foot and just under 13 stone. This professional footballer from California has fast feet, fast hands, and a combination of both when he's breakdancing to celebrate his victories. And to get here tonight, two scoops took the measure of Russia's Andrei Akulov in the prelims and then Phil Norman in the semis. Nothing seems to phase this man. Always keeps his sunny side up, also knows how to come from behind like Paul Field, as he did against Phil Norman to get here tonight. Two scoops. Contender! See two scoops in this event in America. Three, Wait, two, do you see him fly? He's unbelievable. I'm ready. Here he goes, and he flies past Sabre. Goodbye, Trojan, and straight through the Terminator. It's like trying to tackle Smoke. He's so quick. First you have him, and then he's gone. He's gone to the two. 9.8 seconds. He's got 10 points. Whoa, baby, that was unreal. That was fantastic. Look at him go. It's as if, really, they're not there. They seem to be baffled by his speed and his amazing alertness. Great agility, ducks and dives. That was worth coming for. That is one of the fastest times I have ever seen and I'm sure everybody there has ever seen. Nine seconds, ten points! This man is so fast, the cameraman's having a job keeping up with him. And Adrian's on her feet. To two events in this men's final. Paul Field from Great Britain, 15. Wesley Berry of the USA, 20. Well, that's the end of part one. But don't go away because you can see some more exciting action on the International Gladiators! the National Indoor Arena. Our international grand finals continue. Event number three, the wall. And our women will start things off. They are harnessed up and set to climb from Great Britain. Eunice Huthart. Chasing her up the wall will be Ice Ice Baby. Her opponent, Kim Tyler from the USA. She set the climb. On her tail will be the one, the only Jet to referee John Anderson. America and Great Britain, you will go on my whistle. Gladiators, Remember, you will go on the gauntlet, no love lost between Three, Ice and two, Eunice. One. I think Ice will be hot in her tail. Right now, Kimberly with the slight edge, but Eunice right there. Here come the Glads. Kimberly seems to have slowed up now. Yeah, Jeff's kicked in the afterburners. About to pull her off. And Ice is on Eunice's case. She's got a piece of ankle. Now Eunice is going to hang on, but not for long. Kim's still up there. I think it's only a matter of time. It's a long, long wait. But Jeff will pull her off. There she goes. Finally gets the job done with that scissors hold. And see how Jet climbs up the body and uses the overhang to lever her off the wall. After three events in this women's final, Kim Tyler of the USA, 10. Eunice Huthart of Great Britain, 15. Our men have their sights set on the summit, 32 feet above them. For Great Britain, Paul Field. He will be chased up the wall by American gladiator Hawk. Wesley Berry of the USA trailing him, chasing him will be Hunter! Over to international referee John Anderson. America and Great Britain, 
you will go on my whistle. Gladiators, you will go on Laddie's whistle. Paul gets Three, the more favorable draw here two, in terms of Gladiators. One. Hunter much more adept than the Hawkster at climbing the wall. Well, the story will unfold as here come the Gladiators. Both Wes and Paul looking good so far. Hunter has made up a lot of ground, however. Paul Field has been it. He's got 10. Oh, how unlucky. Hunter jumps up and grabs a piece of Wesley, depriving him of five points. And Hunter, in a leap of faith, grabs one piece of two scoops. Well done, Paul. You seem to like coming up the wall. I wanted this one. I'm now in the lead. That's what I'm going to stay, man. In the lead. Well done, Paul. You've only saved 10 points. Yes! Hunter, whether it's Polax or the wall, Wesley Berry always seems to bring the best out in you. <laughs> well, climbing's my thing, and uh, I knew I was going against this guy today, so I had two extra scoops of porridge for breakfast. Well, two extra scoops? He's borrowing one out of your page, Wesley. Hey, I don't feel bad. Like I said, I came in to do a job. It ain't over till it's over, so keep on watching the telly, and you'll see the two scoops smiling. This one belongs to the Hunter, however. Nicely done. Hunter and Wesley in the wall. After three events in the men's competition, Wesley Berry of the USA, 20. Paul Field of Great Britain, 25. Next event, Powerball. The women up first, and Eunice Hudhart. No question about it. Gladiators has changed her life and her daughter, Carly's. At, at the start of this, my daughter, right, Carly, she's only three years old. She was in awe of all the gladiators. It was like, and the cheerleaders as well. After the first show, it was, oh, mum, mum, did you talk to my teacher, you know, and so on, stuff like that. And as it's gone on, she'll be eating a dinner going, if I eat all my dinner, I'll grow up to be like Nightshade or Jet or whoever it was she was talking about. And the other day we were having breakfast and she just said out the blue, mummy, I want to grow up to be like you. And man, lad, it was the sweetest thing on earth. Uh, my eyes filled up and I had all tingles all down my back. And like Gladiators has given me that, so I really appreciate that. Eunice Hutter for Great Britain will be using the red balls. And from the USA, Kim Tyler, she'll be using the blue. And guarding those five baskets are our international gladiators, Ice, Flash, and Jet! Ice from the USA, Flash from Finland. And if you need me to tell you where Jet comes from, you must have been out of the country for a couple of years. Over to Larry Thompson. Great Britain and America, are you ready? John has a story Eunice told about her daughter, Carly, and the gladiators pulled up on my heartstrings. Certainly Three, mine too. This show can really change two, your life. One. All right, here we go. The American champion versus the British champion. And on the first two attempts on the basket, both girls unsuccessful. Kim struggling and gets double team, triple team practically. Outnumbered anyway. Here comes Eunice. She now gets the double team treatment as Kim goes down hard, courtesy of Ice. Eunice sidesteps, oh, misses the basket. So does Kimberly. They can't seem to buy one. Here comes Eunice, finally, finally breaks the ice. That one rolls off the cylinder. That was close. We're under 20 seconds. Kimberly makes the big decision, but throws it away. It is clear the attrition rate of the prelims, the semis. The three events prior to this one have really taken their toll. Kim finally does score. They even things up at two. We're out of time here. It's two apiece. Kim and Eunice thankful it's all over. Whoa. That was right. Yeah. Yeah, Eunice was brought down, so this wouldn't have counted, but she misses the basket anyway. Congratulations, girls. Eunice, how did you find it? Oh, it's tough. It's just getting tougher and tougher as it goes on, but I just love these contact games. Were you expecting to score any points, bearing in mind it's the final? Um, I don't expect anything. I just go out to do my job. If I don't get it, the Gladiators are doing their job better than me. If I do get it, I do my job better than the Gladiators, so... I scored one basket, so if they're aiming to stop me, I made it, man. Well done, Eunice. You got yourself two points. 
King, you picked the gladiators on their best day. They were something special today, weren't they? Oh yeah, naturally so, because it is the final. So I don't expect them to cut us any slack, which is, which is good. They were doing their job today. It was much harder than uh, semis or prelims, so it's getting a little bit tougher, just as you just said. But I too like the physical contact, so I enjoyed myself out there. Well done, you got yourself two points. Thank you. Well done, girls. Magnificent performance. First of all, Ice, you were fantastic. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know, we're in the finals here, and you got to give it everything that you have. And I think we got an awesome team here tonight. And I think that's why we shut them out as much as we possibly could. Flash, were you practicing backstage earlier on? Oh, yeah. We have to do a good warm up and practice a little bit. And one thing is this great audience, they give their support to all the contenders, all the gladiators, and that is what makes it especially great to be here and to play this Powerball, and I hope they enjoyed the game. Yeah, oh, did. we did, we certainly did. <laughs> Jet, magnificent performance, all of your teamwork. I think so. I mean, every time I turned around marking the centre, these two girls had it covered, so I can say to your teammates, you were brilliant. Yeah, <laughs> well girl, let's, go. let's hear for our international gladiators, Ice, Flesh. And Jets! That's the best defensive team we've ever seen. After four events in the women's final, Kim Tyler of the USA, 12. Eunice Huthart of Great Britain, 17. Next up, Paul Field. How's he going to approach this evening? Tonight, I'm a bit, oh, much more motivated. In my um, heat of my semi-final for the international, I found it really hard to get motivated after winning the British. But uh, I've got my motivation back now. I'm going to really enjoy myself, win or lose. I'm just going to do my best and have fun. Really am. Using the Red Bulls from Great Britain is Paul Fields. <laughs> and using the Blue Balls from the USA, two scoops of berry. <laughs> and guarding those baskets are our international gladiators, Hunter, Spartak, and Hawk. Our very own Hunter, Spartak from Russia, and Hawk from the US of A. Over to Larry Thompson. Great Britain and America, are you ready? Time to get physical one more time. Are you ready? An explosive 60 seconds ahead of us, Mike. Let's see if the thrill is back for Paul Three, Field. Two. The fast feet of Wesley Tuscoop straight in the center basket for three. He made two gladiators miss. He's got another one. He's got five now. Can't keep up with this guy. Hawk cuts Wesley down a size finally. And Paul, he's on the scoreboard. Russ has got another one in the middle cylinder. Paul scores again. John, we need a calculator. I'll tell you what we do need is to slow this down to see what's actually happening. Faster than the eye can see. And we still got 30 seconds to go. Wesley again in the center cylinder. Another three points. And another two. It's all so easy for Wesley. Look how he moves through them. Cuts through the middle again. Three and points. Paul Field is down. He's been hurt. He's been injured. I'm surprised the referees haven't stopped the clock yet. Now they do. Looks serious to me, Mike. Physio's taking a look at him. Not quite sure if he had the wind knocked out of him or something more severe, like maybe bruised ribs. It was Hawks tackled, I think, or he collided with the basket. One thing's for sure, Paul Field will go on. He's a top, tough cop, and there it is right there, Hawk with the tackle. That confirms it. There are eight seconds remaining in this game of Powerball. Wait for my whistle So eight now. seconds remain. Wesley Three, leads 16-4. Final opportunity here for Paul Field. He's got one back. And he's clutching those ribs. Can he score one more time? He does right before time expires. And he was in some considerable pain there, holding on to his ribs. What a brave hombre. Such a good shot to Ridge. He came back and scored. Cheers, we'll do it, baby. Cheers. It winds up 16 8. Here's that final goal. You talk about tenacity. Paul not about to give that ball up. Congratulations, Paul. Firstly, can you tell us what happened? Yeah, I just got a uh, shoulder in my ribs. It just winded me initially. Oh, I thought it winded me. I'm going to go and have a look at see the fizz in a minute. Just uh, chip my ribs out if it's sore. Is it getting harder? 
Oh, most definitely. Most Harder definitely. than last time. Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> I need to got all my teeth this time. Well done, you got yourself eight points. <laughs> Two scoops. In Gauntlet, you're electric. And in Powerball, you're even faster. Tell us how you do it. First, I want to say to Paul, I hope that, you know, everything goes all right with his, with his side. As far as Powerball, I touch each one of the cylinders because they represent a member of my family. And I try to get enough balls in for each one of my family, so I think I pretty much did it. They couldn't keep up with you at all, could they? I don't think so. You know, it's like a, a fly passing by the spider web. Just go right through the hole in the middle. Do you know how many points you got? No, but if you tell me, I got some for the people. How many? 16 points! First of all, Hawk is a fast guy, Scoops. He's very fast. Well, that's fair for me to go against him in the States, and he's got that cat quickness. I think it was evident in the gauntlet, and it was evident here. I'll tell you what, though, I want to say, uh, my, hand, my hand goes out to Paul. I'll tell you what, I put a pretty good lick on him. You know, he was diving, I was diving. I want to apologize. You know, it's kind of tough when a kid gets hurt like that. But he came right back. I didn't think he was getting up. And where, where did you actually catch him? Was your elbow, your elbow, or your shoulder caught him? Uh, it was just a good, solid hit. He was diving for a cylinder. And I was coming from a tackle on two scoops, and it was my shoulder kind of caught him as he was extended. It's a tough break. I feel bad for the kid. Thanks, Hawk. Hunter, he's fast. He was skipping all over the place there. He's, I mean, this guy jumps cars. He does, you know, he's all over the place. But you've got to give him credit. He's, you know, he's the man. Spartak, a word from you. Hoga! Greg! Hunter! Spartak! And the Hulk! After four events in the men's competition, Paul Field of Great Britain, 33, Wesley Berry of the USA, 36. Event number five, hit me with your best shot, the duel, one-on-one. -on -one. The women will start things off on the platform. From Great Britain, Eunice Hutthart. She'll face the firepower of Finnish Gladiator, Flash! And Flash stands 5 foot 6 inches, weighs 11 stone, and it's fair to say that Eunice Hutthart, as a martial arts expert, hasn't been exceptional on duel Three, or indeed the bridge. Two, one! Can Hutthart hit hard? All will be revealed. Not bad, but Flash now wailing away. Took one in the face. Eunice on the defensive here. Ten seconds to go. Eunice looking for a draw in five points. And landing some good licks on Flash's helmet. He gets the five. Up next, Kim Tyler, she's ready to climb the ladder of success. I think all the competitors that um, came to compete are very good. I think it, it takes a lot of strength, a lot of stamina. I think uh, mentally it's very, very enduring as far as taking its toll. Trying to psych yourself up or getting yourself focused is very hard. So um, having to make it this far, I think it's great. And win or lose, I'm I'm, I will be happy just being here. So. Next to trade blows with Flash, the American, Kim Tyler. Over to John Anderson. Eunice was able to get a draw. Kim would like to get the victory. And there's no case here against Kimberly for not mounting an attack. She's giving it the full Monty on Flash. <laughs> She's certainly aggressive. What a full Monty is, I don't know. It's Mullery. You got me again. And so is Kimberly, mounting an assault on the flash. And look at that. What a great grip flash has got, swinging that like a tennis racket. But this one as well is going to wind up as a draw. Five points. Look at that. Wonderful grip as she swings that pugil stick in. Not connecting all the time, but tremendous velocity. Well done, Kim. That was a great battle. Tell me, did you have any tactics, or was it just a case of putting your head down and go for it? 
actually, I was just trying to go for it. I, um, I know she's very strong. She's quick, so I just tried to get as many punches in as I could. Well done. You got yourself five points. Thank you. Flash, that was a very exciting contest. Oh, yeah, it was. These girls are real tough. There's no question about it that they are the best contenders in the world, and they are fighting for a, for a big prize, so they are really giving 110%. Thanks very much. Thank Let's hear it for Flash. After five events in the women's competition, Kim Tyler of the USA, 17, Eunice Huthart of Great Britain, 22. <laughs> to the men's duel we go, and first up from Great Britain, Paul Field. <laughs> Doing the honors for the gladiators, it is the Russian gladiator, Dynamo. <laughs> Undefeated. The heavyweight, Dynamite, just under 18 stone. And, Mike, he could make old Paul Field moan with those sore ribs. I know he's got him taped up. Two, one. Grim look of determination against Dinamiti. Oh, oh look at that! Oh, what an upset! Wow. What an upset! That's a surprise, Mike. Paul had the big Russian off balance and then knocked him down. Sore ribs and all. This guy has got some metal. What finished off the big Russian? Watch here. Paul, that overhand right. And one for good measure. Paul. Fantastic. Tell us, Paul, you look like you're still struggling. Yeah, it still hurts. Okay, keep holding on now, you know. Okay. Paul Fields, 10 points. And if that pain doesn't subside, he may not be able to compete in the eliminator. Let's hope he gets better. Well, Wesley has met the Dancing Bear Dynamite before on Suspension Bridge, and what a surprise party this was for the big Russian, as Wesley knocked him down and made it to the other side. Next up to face the Russian powerhouse Dynamite is American Wesley Two Scoops Berry. Over to John Anderson. And I'll tell you what, the Two. big guy has a long memory, John. He hasn't forgotten what Two Scoops did to him. But look at that! <laughs> oh, boy, I'm glad it's Wesley dancing and not the bear. Two Scoops, too legit to hit. And he gave the Russian bear the old matador up there. He just stood out of harm's way. Ole and bye-bye, bear. Scoops, fantastic. I mean, what were you thinking? We've seen his, you know his reputation on Suspension Bridge and earlier heats. I mean, that man is awesome. First, I thank the God creator for my health and my strength. And to let the fans know I had to hit him with a one, two punch. <laughs> Feeling real good. Dynamite's a real strong gladiator, and I just had to use his own strength against himself. And it worked out in my favor. Congratulations. Ten points. Amen. Dynamite, what happened? What did I say about? The lucky boy. He's a very lucky boy, you're right. Dynamite! After five events in the men's competition, Paul Field of Great Britain, 43, Westbury of the USA, 46. We're gonna have a short break, but don't go away, because you can see some more exciting action here on the International Gladiators! Welcome back to the National Indoor Arena, and in just a few moments, we are gonna crown our international grand champions. There is, however, a little piece of business to be taken care of, that, of course, the race in the Eliminator. The women will start first, and at the moment, the UK's Eunice Hutthart has a five-point lead. That will give the native of Liverpool a two-and-a-half-second head start on America's Kim Tyler. Right now, John Fashionu is with both women at the start line. John? Thanks very much, Mike. Eunice, two-and-a-half seconds head start. You know an Eliminator doesn't really mean much now. Yeah, that's right, John. Doesn't mean anything until you go through that paper. I've just got one thing on my mind, and that's to be through that paper first. Kim, two and a half seconds to make up. Can you do it? I'm just going to do the best I can, John, and just um, 
put forth the best effort, and um, hopefully we'll see what happens. That's all we ask of both of you. Eunice, Kim, wish you all the best. And you can be sure they're both going to give 100%. And there's Sam Kojo. Last time we saw him, he was being carried out on a stretcher from the domestic final. It's good to see he's come to support Eunice. And isn't she focused, Mike? And with her every step of the way, her daughter Carly. Kim Tyler staring a two-and-a-half-second deficit. Great Britain, you will go on my whistle. America, you will go on Larry's whistle. Three, two, one. This one for the big enchilada. I can almost taste it. And so can the crowd. They're so excited. Kimberly having some problem on that rope. On the hand ladder, though, Eunice has got to cross that, across the rolling beam. Now the cargo net. And Kimberly's having a bad eliminator. And it seems like all of Liverpool has come here to cheer on their champion kickboxer. She's now nearly atop the cargo net. That obstacle out of the way. And Kimberly's going to have to dig deep now, Mike, and find a miracle. Only a Eunice Hunt Hart mistake will keep her from the championship. Here's a great view of Kimberly Tyler coming in. Oh, that's a bad landing. The tennis instructed to land on their bottom, not their ankles. Here comes Eunice Hunthart, smoking that travelator. She breaks the barrier. Our 1995 International Champion of Champions. For Great Britain, I have to say, Mike, she is fabulous. But let's not forget Kimberly Tyler, who has been terrific all the way through this. It's party time! Well, I'm lucky, Kim. Never mind. You didn't win here, but you're still a champion in the eyes of everybody watching. Unlucky. Well, um, that's all right. He's a great competitor. I tried to do the best I could, and that's all I can ask for myself, so I'm not unhappy at all. Well done. Let's hear it for Kim from the USA. It's a sweet feeling, Eunice Hunthart. Did you ever think when you began your odyssey about three or four months ago that you would wind up not only as British gladiator champion, but international grand champion, Eunice? No, I just didn't dream it for one minute. I just can't believe it. Wow! Well, Take a couple more laps around the arena, let it sink in. Congratulations, and here's your prize. Trip around the world and a lot of dough to go with it. Congratulations, Eunice Hutthard from Liverpool, our international grand champion. Well, let's hope that Eunice can get insurance so that she doesn't have to give this prize away. And before the men's eliminator, we're going to have a timeout. I knew Russia was cold and, and impersonal. I like these guys. They're very tough people, very hard, very, very good, very well trained. I really had no, uh, no, no idea what, what to expect from the finish. Um, having got to know them and, and got to know a couple of their uh, gladiators and contenders, they're a, a great group of people. Uh, Finland was covered with ice and and the British gladiators were tea drinkers all the time. I would think of UK very statulate individuals. They're very proud, very uh, particular, and they want things done in the, in the most specific way because they want it right. America is a big country. I've been there three times, and uh, I know the nice people. No nice, other nice nation resembles the Russians more than the Americans. Chunk food. <laughs> Once we got here, I learned that Russians were just like Americans and Finnish were just like Americans, and the British were just like Americans, and we are all one, and we are all from the same planet. And the nation of Earth should be the only nation there is. We shouldn't have the separate nations. We should have one nation. The men are set for their run for it all in the Eliminator, and tonight when the international gladiators go to bed, they'll probably have nightmares. Paul Field of Great Britain and Wesley Berry of the USA have been that good. Wes will get a one and a half second head start because of his three-point lead. 
Wes, I guess at this point, there's nothing to it but to do it. That's all it is. Like I said, watch the telly and see fate prove itself. Paul, the ribs injured in Powerball. You got it through to get 10 points in the duel. What did the doctor say? Are you fit to go? Yeah, I'm fit to go. Just a little bit of bruising. I'm going to give my best shot. Never been behind yet. Don't intend to stay there. Paul Field, Wesley Berry, best of luck. In the elevator, one man going on to become our international grand champion. Both guys have been given the opportunity here on Gladiators to dream the impossible dream. But for one man, it could wind up a nightmare. America, you will go on my whistle. Great Britain, you will go on John's whistle. Three, two, one. And one thing to keep in mind, Wesley Berry has the record in this event. He set it in beating Phil Norman, 50 seconds. Look at these guys go. They're practically side by side. Paul Field ignores the pain and he pumps that handbike, showing off his terrific upper body strength. Oh, this is so close. But this is what we wanted oh. from an international final. The best of the best. Wesley has pushed out a bit further now. Paul struggling somewhat on the cargo net. Wesley coming down the zip line. Paul in hot pursuit. Will the Travelator cause an upset, as it has done in the last two shows? This is it! Wesley Berry to the top, he has done it! He breaks the barrier first, Paul right there! But Wesley Berry, the 1995 International Champion of Champions! Paul Field naturally disappointed, he's lost a tooth in Powerball, bruised the rib in Powerball, he's given it all, he's been through the wars, and Eunice Hutthart consoles him. Two scoops! Wesley Berry from the USA and now into the stands, a people's champion. Paul's fantastic last event. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I did draw the artist, you know. Sorry for everyone out there that did sports. Did my best. Paul, you don't need to apologize to anybody. You're absolutely fantastic. And here you are. Here's your trophy. A check. For £2,000, I think you want to say thank you to some of your supporters. Yeah, I'd like to thank my wife, Natalie, my three kids, Jack, Dan and Adam, and everyone else who's coming to sports. Thank you, everyone. Paul, fantastic. Even though you lost, you're still a winner here on the Gladiators. Yeah. It's here for Paul Fields. <laughs> Wesley Berry, first off, I know you want to say congratulations to one courageous contender, Paul Field from Great Britain. <laughs> Put it all in perspective, you had to beat Three men to make it here and win the international grand finals. What's it mean to you? All I can say is I thank God, but the race is not given to the swift, nor to the strong, but to the one that endureth until the end. I'm here. I'd like to say to Paul, first of all, and everybody that supports Paul, hey, you're never a loser when you come this far. With hurt ribs, I thank everybody. Thank Great Britain. I thank Paul. Bless your prize. The trip around the world, uh, the cast, congratulations. Hey, Paul, we've seen a lot of great contenders on American Gladiators. You are right up there with the best. Congratulations. How about it for Paul Field of the UK and Wesley Berry of the USA? I think it's fair to say that on another day, this could have been a totally different story, but both contenders were magnificent. Once again, our international grand champions, Wesley Berry of the USA and Eunice Hutthart of Great Britain. Also, congratulations to two great athletes, our runners-up, Paul Field and Kimberly Tyler. Well, that does it from the National Indoor Arena in Birmingham, England. For John Fashionu and all of us, I'm Mike Adamley, and we'll meet again on International Gladiators. For safety reasons, do not attempt to recreate any of the events you have seen on Gladiators. Brush up on your squats and burpees weekend mornings. Feel the burn. The competitors of American Ninja Warrior will, that's for sure. Back Saturday at 11, you to challenge. Next over on pick, new Border Security, America's front line.